Hi everyone, welcome back. I cannot begin my video without thanking you all once again for the love and support on this journey. I completely felt that from the last live session and it really means a lot. Thank you so much for that. Now back to today's vlog. This video was taken quite some time back even before my kids exams as I couldn't finish the editing part and posting it now. It's almost similar to one of my previous videos, a day with Arman when my husband and eldest son Rihan was out of Riyadh for a badminton tournament. I actually didn't want a repetition, but on such days I tried to make some special recipes and would love to share with you all. Hence the vlog. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. They had already left by the time I woke up. They would be having breakfast with others joining them so I could sleep for more time. First thing in the morning on most of the days, I love to check out my window plants. Though not much difference every day, it's good to check out the tiniest change. I don't have a lot of plants but whatever I have, I try to take care. Now on weekends, I like the kids to have a shower as soon as they wake up just to keep them fresh and active for the rest of the day. The last time I had asked him to help me in the kitchen, ever since then he is very interested and excited in helping. So he himself kept everything ready for him in the kitchen. I was making a simple egg pasta. Pasta is Arman's favorite but Rihan doesn't love it much so I could definitely go ahead with pasta. Breaking two eggs in a bowl along with some salt and pepper. Add some oil or ghee to a heated pan. Add one onion chopped and saute it for a few minutes. Then add two small tomatoes chopped. Mix well till the tomatoes are soft. Add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon garlic powder. If you don't have, add one tablespoon crushed garlic, half teaspoon paprika. Mix everything very well. Add salt. Make sure it is in very low flame. Add the egg mixture. Just give a stir for a few seconds. I had cooked one cup pasta, adding it to the egg mixture and mix. 
you can add some cheese if you want I let him watch TV for some time. Meanwhile, I read my favorite dietitian Rujuta Diveka's book on PCOD. I haven't completed it yet, but one thing I can say she always stress on weight training, which is what I have found really helpful to tone up and for more energy. Then I did some editing works for some time. Then I made Arman to do some of his school work. I began the lunch preparation, making a rice with mutton. I cannot call it a biryani because I didn't have everything needed for a biryani. It's like a partial biryani. I soaked two cups basmati rice in water. Now the mutton pieces had a lot of fat on it. I just went for a trial and loved the taste of it. So that's why showing it here. I took the maximum fat from the mutton, added it into a small pan and kept in medium flame to get the fat melt. Slicing two large onions. Make a paste of five to six garlic cloves, a small piece of ginger, and three to four green chilies. Add three cups of hot water into which you will be cooking the rice. Then add two bay leaves, two three cardamom pods. 3 to 4 cloves, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 2 small cinnamon sticks, 1 to 1 1/2 tablespoon of the ginger garlic green chili paste, some salt, 2 tablespoons of oil or ghee. When the water is boiling, add rice. When it starts boiling, lower the flame and let the rice cook until all the water is absorbed. You can see the fat is melted. I am using 3 tablespoons of the fat. If you don't wish to add this, you can always go for any oil or ghee. Add the sliced onion. After 3 to 4 minutes of sauteing, add the mutton pieces. Keep mixing till the mutton turns the color. Don't forget to check the rice in between. I'm just transferring to a bigger vessel. 
add two large tomatoes chopped then i had added the ginger garlic green chili paste i actually forgot to on the camera while adding then goes half to 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder some salt mix well i added half cup milk then juice of half a lemon mix everything together and then close the lid keep in medium high flame the water is completely absorbed so just give a mix and keep aside some of you had asked me about this pressure cooker once the steam starts coming the nail kind of thing comes up and the steam is locked when the weight starts to make the sound that's the first whistle coming so reduce the flame to very low cook for 10 minutes and then off the flame just preparing a simple side for the rice chopped up a cucumber and small onion added some salt and mix It's ready to open when the nail has gone down. There was a lot of water keeping it for boiling so that the water evaporates. Chopping up some coriander leaves, mix well. When the water is almost gone and it becomes a thick gravy, spread the rice over it and cover the pressure cooker. Cook for 5 to 10 minutes or until the steam comes on top. then give a mix and serve putting him for a nap just made a sweet for him so that i could give it as soon as he wakes up this is very good for energy my melted jaggery was over so melting some roasting some peanuts if your kid is peanut allergic you can use almonds or cashews roast in low flame till light brown let it cool down add it to a blender just pulse it few times so that it becomes a powder then you will have to add melted jaggery to this powder the consistency depends upon how you need it you can add less jaggery syrup and make laddus or small energy balls you can add thick jaggery syrup layer it on a tray keep in the fridge and make bars like energy bars or you can make it like how i made i'm adding enough jaggery syrup to this just to make it like a halwa adding quarter teaspoon of salt for a balance Once 
while he was still sleeping i had my tea and a small bowl of the lunch rice and that was my dinner i actually wanted to make something else for dinner since there was enough rice from lunch i didn't make And that's for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try out the recipes I had included. For more videos, do click the subscribe button and press the bell icon for updates. See you soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye.